Welcome back to my shop. Let's talk about these tool holders and what I learned researching and building them. First of all, I've had this French cleat tool wall for a couple of years now and I'm still very pleased with how it works and how flexible it is. The basic principle is to have these cleats with a 45 degree angle mounted to the wall and then you can have the tool holders with the same sort of cleats and you just put it in here and this makes it sit securely on the wall but if you want to move it you can easily do that by just taking it out and putting it somewhere else. And I've had this as I said for a couple of years and from the beginning of my shop this was a very useful system because as you're starting out and as your shop is growing um, things tend to move around and you shift stuff and you realize that you need tools in a different place and with this French cleat system you can very easily do that without changing too much of the setup. So I recommend if you start out to try French cleats because I found them really useful and flexible. Now let's look at some of the individual tool holders. For the screwdrivers the system is very simple. I just drilled holes into this board and I, stuck, I stick them in and to make it a little nicer I drilled stopped holes with the Forstner bit here so that the, the bottom of the screwdriver sits inside this little stopped hole. This is not strictly necessary but I find it looks a bit nicer and I, I believe that maybe the screwdriver sit a little bit more securely on the board. I set the rear row in the gaps of the front row so that they are easily accessible and that seems to be working quite well. For the chisels you need slots in the front because especially the larger ones won't go through the hole. So this is the same system as here but with a slot cut into the front and that way you can easily get them in and out. And one idea I picked up from Rob from Rob's Woodshop is to make a protection, protection at the bottom to protect the chisel um, blades and to protect my hands when I grab for them. And I thought about this a little, um, how to do it properly, because this protection could also make it harder to get the chisels in and out. So I made it at a little angle, because I realized you don't need protection if you move in from the front, you need protection if you move in from the bottom. So this protects the chisels and my hand, while at the same time allowing for maximum free movement of the chisels in and out. By the way, all of these things are just screwed and not um, glued because I want to be able to change the setup easily when I get a new set of chisels or whatever. So I screw all these tool holders because that makes it easier to take them apart and build new ones. Shop space is limited of course, so I thought about how to use the space on my tool wall as efficiently as possible. And I realized, for example, that I don't use the files very often, so they could move up where they're not as easy to reach to as the chisels, for example, but since I don't need them that often, that would be okay. So I made the tool holder just the other way around with the handles of the files at the bottom and little stopped holes at the bottom here so that they don't fall out. And that way I can easily put it up here and I can grab the files very easily, but I can also use that space at the top there without wasting it. And that way it's a good compromise, I think, between um, easily reachable and still efficient space usage. The same goes for the hammers, as they have handles hanging down. Um, that's a good way to put them up at the top of the workshop wall so that I use that space and can still very easily grab the hammer handles. For the storage of the planes here, my hand planes, I decided to go for a very simple shelf solution. These are just small boards screwed to the back here. Um, there are a couple of different solutions that you find on the web, but this seemed to be the most flexible at the moment. I only have a few planes as you see, and I'm not yet sure how often I'm going to use them and where I'm going to store them. So this is just a temporary place here. And I thought that the shelf solution was the easiest to make for the moment. And once I get into the planes from a little more deeply perhaps, or if I use them more often, I maybe may 
um, I may be I may be going to make a nicer shelf for them because well the shell the, the planes are a nice tool and at the moment it's a bit of a temporary solution but I want them at hand and I haven't decided yet how often to use them and so this this seemed to be a good compromise for the measuring and marking tools I just use a large plane a large sheet of, of um, shelf that I had and I made these little holders and I made sure that the, the small term tools here they get taken a bit away from the back so for example this square is very flat and I cut a groove into this holder so that the square sticks out from the back a little so that it's easy grab, easier to grab because if you put it right at the back then it's hard to get it off and the same with this one here um, I cut all those grooves so that the tools actually stick out from the wall a little so you can easily grab them I'm very glad that I finally got round to making tool holders for most of these tools and first of all it's always nice to look at them because they're so organized and it's nice that you can use them so easily and don't have to take them out of boxes and put them back into boxes after using them as it was the last couple of months while I still already had the tools but hadn't made the tool holders. So I hope you found some useful ideas in my tool wall and I'd be very interested in seeing your solutions or hearing about your solutions and I hope you found this video useful. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you back soon. Remember, watch, learn and then make something.